Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's market wrap up for Monday, June the 9th, 2008. I'm Joe Keenahan, Chief Derivative Strategist with Think or Swim. Quite a Monday we had on our hands, and we go old school on tonight's song. The Mamas and the Papas, Monday, Monday, Monday. Uh, by the way, number one hit, 1966. But anyway, let's head forward and see what we have here. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 70.5 points today. We had 18 advancers. We had 12 decliners. The biggest advancer on the day, Alcoa, AA, up 7.5%. Impressive showing. Biggest decliner on the day, JPM, JP Morgan, down almost 6.5% on the day. As I said, 18 advancers, 12 decliners. The unusual thing about today, although the Dow was up 70.5%, the NASDAQ was down almost 11 points on the day. Very unusual to see that big a disparity between the Dow and the NASDAQ. All right, some of the important things we like to look at every single day that we always talk about. Number one, the VIX. The VIX on the day down 44 cents to just above 23. And the S&P futures close at a level of just around 13.63. Again, you know, we've talked about these support resistance levels. Our next support level right down at 13.52 even. So it'll be interesting to see if we go down there. As I mentioned last week, 13.35 seems to be the level that many people think we're going to test. All right, the next thing we want to look at is Lehman Brothers. Lehman, obviously, in the news a lot today is they're issuing new stock. The stock was down $2.81. What's really interesting is if you sold these puts last week, because particularly like the 17 and a half and 15 puts, which were way out of the money. Last week we were trading at a volatility that was over 200% down at those levels. If we look today at the volatility, we see on the 17 and a half line it's back to 162% implied volatility. So if you sold these last week, they were trading about 55, 60 cents. Now they're back down today to add a dime. The reason being... Volatilities come in and time has passed. You have to remember expiration yeah. is a week from Friday. So something interesting to keep in mind. Uh, so, you know, not to say that you can't lose money if you sell these. As we saw in Bear Stearns, that can certainly happen. But if you're comfortable with the level of buying a stock right there, it's a nice way to play it. All right, that's all for today. As always, good health, good trading. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Keenahan, Chief Revenue Strategist with Think or Swim. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you.